What are we doing today, Pete? We're having a rest day, Rod. We are. Oh, hang on, no. We're just going for a little coffee run, muffin run. A 200 kilometer coffee run. That's right. <laughs> just up in the hills. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I must have been tired last night. I slept until about nine o'clock. <laughs> oh, you lazy so and so. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was the heat of the day yesterday. Uh, but, and it was a big ride. It was a big ride, yeah. but it was still fun. It was. But uh, well, we've got a small crew today. We've we have. lost a few pillions. We have. So they're, they're uh, just a bit soft. They are. Yeah. But um, you know the, one of the good things. Leanne thinks that she can go shopping. <laughs> Sorry, but she yes. doesn't doesn't realise that if it's big, it can't fit on the bike. She can't bring it home. And secondly, there's no shops. What, are you going to get a car or something? Are you going to the Bonus. <laughs>
did some shopping, retail therapy, and then I went and had a massage. Did you buy anything that it's too big to just tie onto the motorbike? No. No. So you bought small things? Yeah, I know the rules. Oh, you know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a massage. Well, it's another beautiful day and we're in um, Bermagui and uh, the crew's all starting to pack up here because we're all starting to go our own, own separate ways now. So the Melbourne crew are off going to head and sort of towards Barnsdale and uh, the Wollongong crew. Oh, hang on. There's someone over here. I shouldn't be doing this because I should be asking, I should be asking Pete. Pete? Yes, mate. What's, what's happening today? What's happening? We're standing here in the gorgeous sunshine in downtown Bermagui. Yep. Have a look at this. God's own country it is. <laughs> and where are you going? We're going to Canberra. Go, yeah, we're going we're to Canberra. So we're going to go about three degrees at the yeah. moment. So we're going to go to Batemans Bay. <laughs> yes. Across the mountain to Canberra. Yes. Because we just didn't want to go the short way home. No. <laughs> no. Now, we don't know where we're going. All we know is going to end up in Bansdale. Yep. We might go, someone might go up Browns Mountain, the other ones might go via Bombala, some might go around the coast. It's like a dog's breakfast. I reckon John Adams or Nishi's had something to do with that. No, you don't say, you don't say. <laughs> 100% I do. But once again, it's been a great trip. Yes, has. And it's has. been fun. Yes. Always and that's what, that's what we all, that's what we do it for. It is. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Are we all going to part and have tears today? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Take my hat off. <laughs> morning, boys. Morning, morning. There you go, Mr. Mara. All packed up. Put the book away. This book you got. Can we have a quick look at it? Sure. So you put this book together. Yeah, yeah. Like 50, 50 years of motorcycle, motorcycle riding. Yeah. So this is your 50th year, and you put this book together, and it's all the all the memories from all about all of it. Yeah. All of it. It's all about him, but we're all in it actually. Yeah. So in 50 years, it just shows it when, when Chris was had had hair. Hey man, that's pretty harsh. <laughs> right to when he had no hair, but this book is sensational. I reckon, reckon anyone that's um, got their memories, that they should do this because of the gongsters. Yeah, yeah. Hot tips. Look, have, just have a look at what he packs in here. I'm sorry, yeah. So here's the crew, it's the Melbourne crew. Oh, hands in the air, everybody. Woo! Have you enjoyed your riding? Yeah! Let's do it again. Thank you too, mate.